Hello, my lovely people. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? My hair is still wet. I just got out of the shower. And I said, let me just shower and go live like all day, you know? Anyway. Can you believe that my hair is too full? And I don't understand it because I've been taking care of my house. But maybe I have something with me or something. It's just depressing when you grow your hair and it keep falling. Hi, baby. How are you? It's just depressing. Like, you grow your hair and then still falling in. All because of the vaccine since I took it. It fucked me up. But now, I don't know what. Maybe. Because my vitamins been fucked up after the vaccine. You all know. Hope you're feeling great. Let's do this reading. What's coming toward you the next 24 hours? Going to be the first reading. How are you? Coming toward you the next 24 hours. What's coming to that you? I'm a little bit thirsty. One, two, three, four, five. Let me drink my water. Choose one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's start by number one. Let me drink my water, number one. Number one, I feel like uh, you're gonna laugh and then you're gonna have some pain. Either like you're gonna have crab, cramps, I don't want crap. You're gonna have some allergy reaction or you're gonna have your period. There's some kind of pain, tooth pain or some kind of pain or you're gonna even have a bimble on your face or something that you don't like, you're just gonna have, okay? You're just gonna have something that you don't like happening or something like that. You're gonna scratch yourself, you're gonna hurt yourself. Also, you're gonna get like, you're gonna be like really losing hope on your dream. There's something that you really want, but you're gonna, ouch, still wet my hair. You're gonna think that you're never gonna get it or something like that. There's like your dream, you're gonna think like, I'm never gonna have that thing or that person or I'm not gonna have it. You're just gonna feel a little bit not motivated, okay? Also, you're gonna go and you're gonna feel like you wanna poop, but you cannot poop. Like, I don't know, you're gonna have like, Got something like I cannot see myself, people. Got something like you want to poop, but you cannot poop or something like that. Okay. Number two is coming toward you. Then if what if I was, you're gonna feel horny, a lot of horny feeling. You might have sex talk with someone, someone flirting with you. Number two, you're gonna have some kind of flirtatious energy between you and someone else. You're gonna be like, oh my god, I don't know where. Like talk to this person about something. Like you want to tell them something like random. Like, uh, did you know that I was like blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to end up to sex or you're going to fuck this person. Or you're going to have a banging or something like that. Number two, so you're going to fuck someone. Or you're going to think about masturbation. Masturbation in my watch porn or something like that. A very horny day. A very sexual day. You might drink or smoke as well. Number two. Hi, baby. How are you? You might drink or smoke or something like that. Also, for some of you, you might get, go to a strip club or something like that. Or watch some hoes or manhole. A manhole, like a, there's manhole, there, there's women hole, okay? People, we are like in 2021, there's hoes, all kind of hoes, okay? There's a strip club, there's men, uh, like in the strip club, and they're wearing socks on the dick only, okay? There's like manholes, women holes, or something like that. Hey, baby, how are you? And also, I feel like you're gonna be feeling like you wanna do a piercing on your nipple or nipple piercing or something like that. Are you thinking if I have a nipple piercing? I don't have a nipple piercing, I just have a hard nipple. My nipple always get hard, people. Like, what can I do? Just nipple get off of it, you get off of it, baby. Something like that, okay? You might drink champagne or some football player, like doing something. You might watch a football player or flirt. It's a lot of flirtatious energy. Some of you might be like in a gay or bisexual bar or something like that because there's something like that. Maybe a friend having a party or coming out a party, coming out a party, something like that. Oh yeah, you might eat some uh, some fruit or something, vegetables, something like that. Number three is coming toward you the next 24 hours. I feel like number three, you're gonna feel like you wanna block someone and or you want someone to unblock you you're like i wish like uh please I'm trying to dry my hair people because it's still wet you're gonna be like please baby please unblock me please i want you i want to talk to you please or something like that you really brain god you want to talk to this person who block you i feel like you really want to be talked to this person you want to have conversation with this person again or something like that you might drink coffee you might go to a place where you don't want anybody to see you like you're trying to disappear from people or a place where nobody can see you there like a coffee shop or a place that you cannot meet your friend 
or a restaurant really far so nobody can see you nobody knows you there or something like that but just a hey, if you like my village like, like a town village something it's really important for me even though i don't have time to be really important for me because number two number three i feel like for some of you look my hair is falling like why can you tell me people why my hair keep falling still like i swear i have half of my hair my hair is usually a bigger like every day i just i feel like number three might be a, a little bit frustrated by me i don't know why if you know me you're frustrated by me because i'm not talking to you or something like that for us to be just like, also gonna do laundry. I feel like gonna do a lot of boring things. You might go to a place where it's full of old people or something like that. I don't know what this place full of old people or something. And yeah, it's just really boring day for you. Are you, you're, it's not a boring day for you. Maybe it's just for me gonna be boring. You're doing something very boring for me, but maybe it's fun for you, okay? And also you're gonna watch some old movie, okay? Something like that. Now before it's coming towards the next 25, you're gonna eat a lot of fries, chicken, or something like that. Also, you're gonna be invited to a party, or some man or woman gonna ask you on a date, or just a uh, like gonna ask you for like to go out and eat, or like gonna ask you to drink coffee with them. You're gonna go to some place where you some you're gonna feel like someone is shy or awkward, or they don't wanna talk to you, they're intimidated by you, or something like that, and you already feel that like this person is intimidated by you. like around you, they feel quiet, or they judging you, or they intimidated, they they don't wanna talk, or they they're they just holding conversations or communication from you or something like that you feel like this person is just scared or shy or something like that and the next 24 hours also the next 24 hours you're gonna feel like um there's like someone you're looking at it could be like you're crushing on someone like you really want to kiss this person in the mouth like you want to like you feel like you really want to kiss them you want to hold, the, hold their face and you're like mm, you want to kiss them like that you kiss them or something like that you just really want to kiss that person also you're going to feel like you really want to buy some gift for someone or something like that are you thinking about a gift it could be like you think people you're thinking about like a new year christmas or something like that buying gifts for someone and uh yeah you're gonna be writing a lot or doing a lot of work or some creative project also or you're gonna work on something creative i feel you might wear uh, wear heels or buy a heel for someone you're thinking about buying some dress or wedding dresses are you thinking about your wedding if it's like if you are like having a uh, wearing a wedding or thinking about a party they want to organize also you're thinking about like hiding something from someone that you don't want them to see or something like that Number five is coming toward you, the next 25 hours. Oh my god, my coffee is almost cold, people. Number five, uh, you're gonna feel like you hate this person. Like, there's person at, a person at work that you don't want to feel their energy. They just, whenever they're around you, kind of sense like there's a fart in the room or something like that. Like, you cannot breathe. Yeah, just like you don't want to see their face. You don't want to be mean. Maybe people think you're mean or something like that. You don't want to say shit, but you're not mean. You just don't like their energy. And people are like, why are you mean to this person? Why are you saying harsh things to this person or something like that? You swear to God, you don't like their energy. And people are like, because they're not psychic enough or something like that. They're not trusting your judgment. They don't like this person. But you swear to God you don't like this person. Like you feel something bad about them. And you don't like them. But everybody else like those those people. It could be a group of people or something like that. Okay? You might eat a lot of chocolate or a lot of dark chocolate or chocolate or something like that. Also, the next 24 hours, you're going to feel like someone is giving you like some kind of vibe or energy. You're like this person is staring at your ass, staring at your boobs, staring at your dick. Staring at your chest. She's staring at your neck. Uh, like someone's staring at you like whatever gender you are like you feel some kind of vibe like you you wonder why they staring at you like that but they just staring at you you might go smoke or drink wine or decide to go smoke or drink wine or something like that or you're thinking of blending for a weekend i feel like next 40 hours are gonna be very very like like not focus on anybody like you're gonna ignore everybody that you're like focusing on you're gonna be like in an energy where you're focusing on yourself very self-centered energy and you love it like you're just my, my energy every time i give people energy they be fucking me up or something like that hi my lovely people so people i'm not gonna do what all they feel and thinking about you right now i'm gonna do your next bang and your next sexual encounter because i i'm uploading what are they feeling and thinking about you right now on youtube for members only but there's like a reading i've done it yesterday we've done a lot of what are they feeling and thinking about you right now so let's do your, your their next sexual your next sexual encounter your next sexual babangin well i want to like know and i wanted to do that but then i said we're gonna go live oh my god something here go live and do your next sexual babangin okay one two three four five your next sexual babangin your next sexual babangin 
I have to do this to my hair because otherwise it's gonna be sticking together. There's like a lotion and it's wet. If I don't put lotion, it's gonna like boof. Choose one. Number one, I feel like you're gonna have no babangan because you're a loser. It's for science. It's for said that I swear. Don't be like, why you're a man? Why you're a man? It's for said because you're a loser. This is the fact. But this is a fact. Why? Because you're a loser. It's for saying. It's for can you can you add to this person because this person maybe wanna know why they're a loser. So because you're like a person who's just like you don't work on yourself, you're not attractive because you don't have a job, you don't you don't try to get a job and you don't you're just um, lazy. People see as lazy. So when people know what you got, uh, when they when they know you, they don't wanna fuck you because you're just like scrap song. Like scrap gang, yeah. You remember like when I done that. When I've done the intro by scrap song, like when I say like, ah, oh, because maybe you're just something about you, like you, you're the kind of person who like maybe you have money, but you're just cheap or something like that. You sound like cheap or you look cheap. Like people don't want to fuck you because it's kinds this energy. Like you could have a lot of money, but you never like want to pay for anybody's coffee or something like that. It's just a coffee. It could be like three dollars or something. Like you cheap or something like that. So something about you is not attractive. You're not gonna have a bank this for sign because you're cheap. What you put on this money like in the bank for what? You're not gonna use it for what exactly? We're gonna do. You're gonna roll it. I moisturize it and put it inside your ass or something. I don't know. As we're saying, uh, you might have sex like after a uh, century. Swear, don't be mean with this person. Swear, saying uh, you're not gonna have any sex anytime soon because your energy is, uh, and they're gonna. This person, they're gonna keep dicks and pussy away from you. They're gonna keep it away from you. For some of you, there's an energy after three years or three months. You might have, a, you might have sex with someone, and. Uh, this person smells like McDonald's fries, chicken, or something like that. I don't know who this person is, but you might have sex with this person. You might have sex with this person. How it's gonna be is this person smells like chicken or fries or something like that. You're gonna like the sex. You're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be the highlight of your week or something like that. You're gonna really like it because you, you're really gonna have an orgasm when you fuck this person. They could have a really nice pussy, nice dick, or something like that. It could be this, this person sending you this person to kind of motivate you to be a better person, to attract people, and not be cheap because you're just keeping everything, you're very self centered, or something like that. There's something about you is just turning people off when they look at you. They could see you half from far, they come near you, and they don't want to fuck with you. Dang. Now to your next sexual babangan. Your next sexual babangan actually gonna happen very soon, sooner than you expect. Sounds like this is a thing where you don't wanna have babangan, you don't wanna have sex, you don't wanna fuck anybody, and it's just gonna happen. Like, it could be like when you go to a club or some of you are getting drunk or something like that, and then you meet this person and you don't plan on having sex with this person, you end up like kissing this person, having sex with, sex with this person. Or something like that so you're gonna end up kissing this person having sex with this person like at a club or something like that i hope some of you might have it at like a club toilet or like where you go into a club or you're drinking or something like that and then you, you get an out like you have a date with this person it could be like you're drunk and you have a date with this person and you drink it together okay and then you go to the toilet like to wash your hand or something like that and you realize you feel like really horny and they try to kind of like not feel horny or something like that and then you go to the table or something like that and then you start like really feeling this person because of alcohol or something like that you start feeling horny and then you talk to this person and you just cannot and then you start to like really want to fuck this person and then you're gonna fuck this person and regret it because this person have tiny dick or uh, that pussy is really not good enough or something like that the pussy is really if you have a big dick her pussy is really short or something like that i don't know if there's a short pussy i never tried that like short pussy like my my pussy never like i never got the dick that reached there Okay. Something like that. I don't know, but some girls don't like big dicks. Something about this girl's di dick. Okay. This, per this girl could be like, this could be a female or something like that. You could be like, uh, you could be too gay or something like that. Or this person ass you don't like, like you wanna, like you taking his bands off and you wanna fuck his ass and his ass looks really nasty. You could be like there's shit in his ass or something like that. He didn't even wipe his ass or he farted and something. There's something that's gonna turn you off and you, but you're horny, you're gonna fuck this person. It could be like her pussies really look like something about her pussy just not clean or she look like she got yeast infection or something like that. It just you're gonna fuck this person but you're gonna feel like you're gross or you're gonna feel like 
you don't mind, but you're gonna be talking to this person again and again because you know, I think like maybe t that day we were drunk. And you're gonna feel confused. I don't know why you're gonna f go fuck this person again. You might date this person for a while, a little bit. Dang. Number three, your next sexual babangan encounter. Number three, this is a teacher or your manager or your boss or someone like uh, who teaches you. Oh, this person could be a teacher, like who teaches other people but not you. So this person could be a teacher or a mentor or who like talk in public or talk to people. people are, like, I don't want my hair to be sticky. So a mentor or like talk in public or talk to other people or something like that. This person could be like that. And I feel like... Uh, uh, you you're like you have a crush on this person so it could be a person that you talk to for a while or this person could be like not your mentor but they are like a professor or like a doctor someone like very respected around people okay and you might talk to be talk to this person like for a while a little bit before sex and when you're gonna have sex with this person you're gonna have sex after work or after this person getting out of work are you both maybe you're gonna meet this person at work and you're gonna do something and then you end up going home and uh, like going together to talk about something or like do something and then you're gonna end up having sex together but the sex seems like very like uh, like you know you both agree that you want to have sex somehow like that it could be like you both agree and it could be if it's like uh, if you're getting married and this is an arranged marriage or something like that you're both agreeing to have sex so you when you have a sex you agree in that today you're gonna have sex or something like that for of you, you just know that it's coming. You like you know that this person invited you to have sex, or you you know this person know that you agreed to have sex because you've been dating each other for a while. So I'm like you know something gonna go down, and you both agreeing on it. I feel like you're gonna have sex with this person, and the sex gonna feel very passionate. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of feelings involved in the sex, a lot of passion, a lot of like uh, you just really you cannot get your hands out of this person. You could be in love with this person, something like that. I feel like it's more passionate and in love. Like I feel like you're. Love everything about this person i feel like a lot of kissing a lot of touching a lot of sex but maybe at first time you're not gonna be like doing two extreme things like you're not gonna be like because you both are like wanting each other but you like you're trying you don't know what's gonna happen how his dick gonna feel or her pussy gonna feel or his ass gonna feel or whatever uh like you don't know how they're gonna feel something like that okay now before your next sexual babangan gonna happen I feel like you're gonna force this person to have a bang with you. I feel like there's someone you really like this person. It could be a crush or something like that. You're crushing on this person. And you really wanna have sex with this person for some of you. And you're gonna be like really fed up. So you're gonna be kissing this person because you're fed up. Maybe like you're gonna go into a room and you're gonna take this person because this person could be stubborn and you're stubborn too. And you really like this person. Or then you're gonna be like, really like just like holding this person and started kissing this person and you're gonna have it like that and even if this person is gonna try to stop you cannot stop each other and you're gonna end up like touching and touching his dick touching her bruises touching that getting naked real fast or something like that because you're fed up there's a lot of angry sex it could be or something like that because you both want each other and then you're gonna look at each other and you cannot handle it, so you're gonna be going doing the move like leaning down or something like that you're gonna try to get it out of this person because you really want this person you're gonna like oh my god i really want this person i want to fuck this person something like that okay i do feel like um the sex gonna be happening in january or after new year something like that for some of you uh after december but you might have a talk with this person it could be a crush that you met now something like that or in december something like that in january for others of you it could be happening like around mid uh, you met this person in october at the end of october or something like that mid october and i feel like yeah gonna happen like that i hope some of you gonna happen in disneyland i don't know why disneyland's for saying or like a museum park or something like that where you're gonna go or there's like a lot of stages there or something like that a lot of music so maybe like talk to this person and then you cannot handle it so you're gonna be like this person either pushing you or something like that you're gonna go and you're just gonna be telling you telling you feelings so this person like i really like you and then you're gonna be trying to kiss or then you're gonna have a fight and then it's a makeup sex or something like that if it's a person that you know or something like that okay or if you're married to this person you're gonna go take your kids someplace and then you're like talking in the hotel room and fucking or something like that Number five, your next sexual encounter. Your next sexual encounter is going to be a lie, this person. Because it's going to be based on a lie. Either this person going to take advantage of you, going to lie to you to get in your bands, or you're going to do that. Someone's going to lie, so stop, be aware of that. So it could be like a person, like an ex of yours, your baby mom or baby daddy, going to be telling you that they change or they want you because they want to give you that because they're trying to get in your bands. So someone's going to try to get in your bands. I feel like they're going to get in your bands. Are you going to let them? Are you going to be seduced by that? I feel like you just get seduced to 
to that person and this person could be very negative for you i feel like the sex is gonna be really rough i feel like really rough sex like very rough sex it's not like very rough banging sex like that i feel like this person just gonna be like in it to satisfy themselves or something like that if she's a girl or a man or something like that just not passionate it feels like it's just for sex and very rough or maybe you don't understand love and you feel like this Roughness is uh, love, but this person is just very rough because they are using you for sex or something like that. Like that. People, what do you want the next reading before I go to sleep? What do you want the next reading, people? Choose a last reading, people. People, what do you want the last reading? Can I see? I'm trying to kind of fix a shape. What do you want the last reading? What are they hiding? What secrets are they hiding? Let's do that. What secrets are they hiding? One, two, three, four, five. What secrets are they hiding? Choose one. Number one, I feel like this person is not hiding any secrets from you, but they're hiding secrets from other people. So maybe you know that this person is very honest with you, but they're not honest with their family or their friend or something like that. So whatever you're seeing this person doing, they're doing it in front of you, but they don't do it in front of some people. Are they showing more of themselves to other people? They could be having a lot of secrets. This person could be a very private person with themselves, but they showing you more than they show other people. So this is the thing that I'm seeing at first. I do feel like this person hiding a lot about their feelings or their emotion towards you. So they do have a lot of feelings that they're hiding. I feel like this person hiding a lot of feeling of uh, sexual feelings towards you. So they could have a lot of sexual feelings or fantasy that they're hiding. They're trying to hide their attraction towards you. I feel like this person hiding the fact that they uh, they want to have something with you. Like either they want to have a kid with you or they want to have something stable with you or something like that. And I feel like this person also hiding the fact that they, uh, they want to get you something or they want to buy you something. Or they love something about you also they don't wanna they didn't tell you. It sounds like they love something that you do and they love something about you that they didn't tell you. It's more like they had in good things or good feelings or good things that they didn't speak to you about. They had in it and it's like they not showing it or they're not being vulnerable with you, okay? Number two, what secrets are they hiding? This is like the more fast uh, reading or something like that, like I feel like this person hiding the fact that they have a crush on you and they hide in that. So they could be asking about a person who's like crushing on you and they hide in that. They're trying to be a friend with you or something like that. I feel like this person hiding a lot of attraction towards you. This person's fantasizing about you and they have a lot of pictures of you and they're watching you on social media. Or they they really like you. They really like you. They hide in that fact. They're trying to stop themselves with something like that, but they do like you. I feel like this person hiding the fact they could be jealous or like they don't like something around you or they could be envious for some of you they could be envious in a negative way for others you they could be just jealous of like you giving attention to other people and they want you to give them attention or they want you to talk to them or something like that i feel like this person loves something that you do or um, if you write something or you're a writer or you wrote something or you do something could be a singer or something like that or you wrote something they love that uh, they love that you do that or they love how creative you are or something like that i feel and I feel like this person in hiding also that they got like a lot of questions that they want to ask you they don't know and they don't want to tell you that they want to ask you or they don't know they act like they know something but they don't know so they want to tell you that they know something about you but they don't actually know so almost like they could just be judging you really harshly I feel I feel like this person hiding the fact that they really really could be horny whenever they see you they could just masturbate over your pictures or something like that are they very horny? Number three, what they hide, and I feel like this person had an F secret that they um, they have something bad around them they could have very very dark history or very dark like past, a very dark family, a very dark something that happened to them is kind of like uh, you know what I'm hearing you know Kate Kate the song like uh, the high. What her name, Kate? Let me show you. I really need to show you the song because see the video of this song because I literally see it in my head, and I feel like one some someone energy is here. Spirit showed me this song a lot of time. Spirit said, "Yeah, show them the song." This song, the first one. 
for Kate the high. So it could be like this person have sexual abuse or something like that, or someone like really left a mark on this person that this person just become cold out of that, or someone raped them or like they have something dark. Could be not a rape, or, but say similar to it. So this person could have just have something like really dark. They don't talk to people about it, and people don't know how deep this person is affected by that. Except this person, and they could just hide it. But it's like it shows in a way that they trust people or something like that. They could have trust issues with you because they do have like some stain something dark that maybe you don't you not you're never gonna know why they behave a certain way until you know their story sounds like they have some maybe they act really weird around you or you feel you find, people find them maybe people like something about this person and people don't know something about this person something like that this person had something very very deep and they they look sad i like the first time i look at this person they're really sad they have a lot of achievement in their hand or they have something precious that they lost and it just make me really want to cry i don't know i felt so sad because i feel like this person could just lost something a home a, a family or they came they lost something that very precious and they cannot find it anywhere it's almost like their life faded away and uh, after that nothing makes sense nothing make them happy after losing that thing after losing that home uh, maybe it could be something precious as someone raping them they lost a sense of like a touch or them wanting a person to touch them or to love them or them something very dark and this person not sharing it to anybody could be something just only see it in a movie or something like that or just something very dark and dark things do happen okay people so i do feel like that so i feel like this person could be very sad and depressed about that thing and they're just trying to because they look really nice and they look, look very successful but they're really really affected by that thing and they just don't know how to not be affected by it okay i feel like this person also had an effect that they could have like a very famous people or famous person around them or their family is really famous or they could just come from a very royal or rich family or they could have someone very known in the public eye or everybody know who this person is that could be uh, related to this person or something like that or they could come from a very rich family or something like very big or something like that for some of you not all of you okay i feel like that i feel like this person was hard enough fact that they could just cause an accident or they they fucked up someone live or something like that i don't feel like it's negative but this person had a fact that maybe people gonna judge them but this person i feel like this person needed to do something bad to someone it's like they needed to do something bad for a person who's really bad and they maybe people don't understand that but they know something about this person that other people don't know maybe this is it could be like someone who raped them and this person done something to the person who raped them like growing up and people thought this person is mean or this person done something very aggressive and criminal to that person but this person was not ready to speak about what happened that didn't tell people that what why did i do that to this person or something like that okay there's a lot of this person very deep okay whoever chose number three this person have a lot of secrets number four what are they hiding from you hi baby how are you how are you how's everybody i feel like number four this person hiding the fact that they're just very shallow or they're very like focusing on their money or finance or they they're very shallow they could just like you for shallow things i feel like this person very materialistic they had a fact that they just care about your money care about your success or something like that they care about your physical appearance or body they they don't care it's almost like when you say things they're not focusing on the words coming out of your mouth they're focusing on what you got what you have or something like that okay it's like um you talk to this person and they're not focusing on that they're focusing on your physical appearance it's almost like you you could tell this person like you're having a bad day and this person's like mm, not focusing on that like to them just just like want to have you as a trophy and i was speaking about that today hey babies so they would speak like this person think that you're just a trophy or they focus on your money or something like that so they had not like this person is very not mature like they could be a fuck boy fuck girl or someone who wants you for success or they want to take pictures with you to feel like they got you because a lot of people want you the moment people don't want you they don't want they don't want to want you it's almost like for validation or something like that okay Number five, what are they hiding? What secrets are they hiding? I feel like this person hiding the fact that they have something established or they have a family or something on the side or they have a kid or they have something on the side or they, they hide in the fact that they... Uh, um, it's almost like they want to do... They hide in the fact that they they believe in other people judgment over you so they could just also be judgmental over you or they're very racist towards you or they have some kind of cliche ideas about you or they could just be like not like that but they believe in someone opinion over like uh, about you 
so they believe in someone opinion about you or something like that that someone said something about you or they had maybe they stereotype you on something so they could be hiding the fact that they like that i feel like this person is like a loving person or something like that but with you they're very judgmental in general this person looking at you they don't want to give you love because they're judgmental about something that you do or something in your life or something they don't like i feel like this person had the fact that they're very judging you they could just very judging everything you do on media or something like that they don't like whatever you do it's like they're judging you they're judging you harshly because they don't understand it they feel like they feel like a stupid or something like that okay i feel this person had in the fact that they have like um uh they have some sexual kink or something that they really want to do with you or they want to try with you or something like that this person does want to have you for them to be like a baby mama baby daddy or something like that or they want you to marry them because they feel like you're the most stable person that they could have or something like that i feel like this person is very conflicted they have the fact they're very conflicted and they don't know what to choose or they don't know what to make of their feelings or if they should choose you or choose someone else or something like that also they had in the fact that they want to like take you and change you or control you to kind of fit in their picture perfect or their family so they might tell you to wear something or to change something it's like they want to tell you if you want to be with me and i'm changing that like tell them, honey do you think there's shortage in dicks and pussy around here yeah, like what 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 hey this is like what a secret side they had so this person's like something about they like they want to change you or something like that I remember like dating this Catholic boy, like he was Catholic. Don't ask me how I met him, like because of my friend, like she's always in the church and he was like her friend or something like that. And he's from Cameroon, he's like really, um, I don't know. Anyway, so it's like, uh, I remember one time I was like, I, I want like, I want to take you. I didn't like him that much. I don't know why I was dating people because I was trying to be open, but it's like at, uh, at the end I was like, I don't feel him. It's like, uh, I want to take you to my family, something like that. But can you please not wear, like, shorts or something like that What you're wearing? I'm like, what? What did he say? Oh, my God, I snapped so fucking hard. I snapped so fucking hard. This boy was crying. I was like, fuck up. And blah, blah, blah. Like, I literally was down with him because I was like, what? Me not wearing what I want to wear. Excuse you. Excuse you, some more. I don't feel like this person was like that, okay? So, people, I love you all. I have to go uh, watch this live when I post it. And I have to go because uh, tomorrow I got work, okay? I don't, I don't want to be waking up, like, tired. And then if I wake up tired, then I'll be angry at everybody. I'll be going to work, like, in the morning, slapping my bag like that, my laptop. And if someone talks to me, I'm like, look at me. Like, what do you want? And I work in the HR people. Like I work in the HR. The most stupidest question you will be asking. Now they ring my phone, they ring other people's phone, but like I was like, why do people keep calling you for stupid shit? Like why? 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 Like and people get mad at you because the salary is not coming or something like that. I'm like, what? Nobody come there when I'm there. When I'm absent they come. Because children. Little, little, little children. Bye-bye.